Hello friends, it's time for another manga haul. So I try not to do these like a ton because I don't want my channel to just be like manga haul time, but I do want to keep you updated on what I am like purchasing and interested in. Hopefully I will do another kind of like what I've read recently video soon so you can kind of see what I'm reading versus what I'm buying. This is my like mini manga haul. I don't really know how I want to do hauls in the future. I don't know if you like smaller hauls or if you like one giant haul like every quarter or something like that, but um, this is going to be like my fall, pre-fall beginning fall manga haul, I guess. I guess the next one I do will be in the winter because it'll be whatever I get on Black Friday um, and then whatever I get for like my birthday and Christmas or whatever. So anyway, whatever, this is all just ramblings. But yeah, let's just get to what you are excited about. First off, I picked up two volumes of a digital manga and it is going to be volumes three and four of the Dorm of Love and Secrets. I don't think I've talked about this manga on my channel before, but it is a really cute kind of like boarding school um, manga. It's about this high school where it's kind of split into like high class students and low class students, basically the advanced students and the like not so advanced students. And there is a dorm where a lot of the advanced students live and there is a girl in the low class school who um, one thing leads to another and she has to move into the high class dorm and kind of keep the secret from everybody. So it's about her keeping her secret and she meets another boy or she meets a boy at the the um the dorm and he also has a secret and it's about them trying to keep each other's secrets and the romance that both blossoms between them and it is super cute it's only four volumes so I picked up the last um two of it and I really really loved it next I picked up probably one of my most anticipated volumes of manga and it is Waiting for Spring Volume 13. This is one of my favorite mangas like ever. I love it so much. It's so cute. It's basketball. It's love. It's romance. It's high school. It's it's so good. I love it so much. So this is kind of like basically the last volume of this manga. There's one more volume that seems like it's going to be kind of like side stories and like an epilogue of sorts. So I'm excited for that. It doesn't come out for a very long time and I am very distraught because I love this manga so much. But this was super cute. Um, I, of course I already devoured it and it's it's so good. I love Waiting for Springs so much. Next up I picked up volumes 10 and 11 of Aoharu Ride by Iosagi Saka. So this is a series that I am obviously collecting. Um, I'm a little bit behind on it. I think the last volume just got uh, released recently, so um, I have like two more that I need to get, so hopefully I'll be able to get that um, finished in the next few um, months, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is another like dramatic high school romance story that I really, really like, so I'm um, happy to pick up the next few volumes. I'm behind on reading this too. I have volume 9 also, obviously, but I haven't read it yet, so I have three volumes to catch up on this to be caught up with everything that I own. The next manga that I got that I'm currently collecting is volume 7 and 8 of Snow White with the Red Hair. This is really cute. I love the anime for it. I talk about this all the time, I think. Um, I think this is the last bit where um, we have, we're in like anime territory. I think starting with volume 9, we are like out of anime territory. I love Shiryuki. It's so cute. Like, read this, please. And the next uh, five volumes, yeah, five volumes that I picked up are new things. So basically, when I got all of this, Right Stuff was having like a sale on Shoujo Beat stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna go and buy a bunch of crap. I found some new stuff that I wanted to read. And generally, when I buy like a new series, um, I try to get the first three volumes because I think after three volumes, I really have a good idea of if I want to continue it or not. Um, so one of these I got three volumes for, the other one I only got two. I thought I bought three volumes for it, but I guess I didn't. So the first one I have is um, The Demon Prince of Momochi House. I have volumes one, volume two, and volume three. This, what is this one about? <laughs> I can't remember. So this is about a girl who like inherits a house, I think, um, and she's supposed to be the protector or like Mm, the guardian between the spirit and the human world or something like that. And she moves in and she finds out there are already people fulfilling that role. So she has to kind of share that role with um, these like newcomers. And of course there are cute boys so you know. I picked this one up because I wanted to kind of, um, I don't know, 
read something that is not high school romance. <laughs> which is what a lot of my shelf is. I feel like the only things that are not high school romance on here are like clamp stuff and like Yona. So I wanted to um, kind of find something that was not high school like specific, um, where it's just like high school drama and maybe pick up something that's a little more fantasy. So that is why I picked up this one. It sounded pretty cute. I think this one also just finished. I think it just released its last volume so um and I think there's 13 so I have a little bit um to catch up on this but I'll read these three vo volumes to find out if I want to continue. Okay so the next one that I got is Kiss of the Rose Princess and this is by Aya Shoto. And so this one looks like it is about a girl who has like a rose choker or like a choker and if she takes it off bad things will happen. She loses it and then she gets cards who have like knights attached to them and like hot boys are summoned or something like that. It's just to find out what she wants to do with that. I don't remember buying this. Um, I was looking at a lot of stuff and I guess I was just like... I don't know, I guess it seemed interesting, so I picked it up. Um, I only got volumes um, 1 and 2, but um, I do love a good, like, um, decision between several men. <laughs> so, um, we will see what, um, ooh, I almost dropped it. We will see how this is, what this is like. I think the things that, the thing that really, um, like, drew me towards this is, like, the four knights. I don't know. I guess it was just lots of opportunity for anime boys. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see how, um, Kiss of the Rose Princess goes. That is everything. So, um, if you've read any of these, let me know. Especially if you read like Kiss of the Rose Princess because like I don't know what I was thinking when I picked that one up. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, for more manga bookish nerdy stuff from me and if you want to know right when I upload a new video make sure you hit that notification bell. That is all of your have for you guys today. I'm Christy Lou. Till next time. Matane!